Phuket province in southern Thailand. It is the biggest island of Thailand and it sits on the Andaman Sea. The nearest province of the north is Panga and the nearest provinces of the east are Panga and Krabi. Maayong adlaw or good day. On the last video, we able to share with you our arrival here in Patong Beach, Phuket, Thailand. Today is our day 3 here in Phuket, Thailand. We're going to share with you our half-day land tour experience here in Phuket. Our tour was a group tour, so meaning we will be accompanied with the other people or mostly other nationalities. Now, I will ask apology if I can mispronounce or murder some words here. My apology in advance. Okay, without further ado. Karan Viewpoint Karan Viewpoint or 3 Beach Viewpoint or Khao Samhad is located in the south of Kata Beach. It is one of the most beautiful viewpoints in Phuket and is an iconic outlook featuring the best of the island includes sparkling blue sea, snow white surf, white sand beaches, an exotic nearby island, two island, and the deep green hoods of Phuket hillsides. <laughs> Our second stop, feeding the baby elephant. Sorry if I forgot the exact name of the place. As long as I remember, we had a stop and had a feed for this little elephant. You will just buy 100 baht or 156.87 peso worth of banana and feed the baby elephant. But it's just an option if you want to feed the baby elephant. Just you can have to take a photo and have a video. Now we're here on the top, the Phuket Big Buddha. Phuket Big Buddha or the Great Buddha of Phuket is a seated Maraviha Buddha statue in Phuket, Thailand. The official name is Praputaming Mongkol Iknakiri or Praputaming Mongkon Iknakakiri. Shortened to Ming Mongkol Buddha, sitting atop Nakard Hill. 
Construction began in 2004 and expansion of the base was going was ongoing as of 2015. By 2017, 80% of the project had been completed. It is the third tallest statue in Thailand behind only the Great Buddha of Thailand and La Luang Pu Yai. Chalong Temple or Wat Chalong or Chalong Temple built at the beginning on 19th century. Its real name is Wat Chai Yatharam, but you probably won't see it on any road sign. Wat Chalong or Chalong Temple is the largest of Phuket temples and the most visited. The most recent building on the grounds of Wat Chalong is a 60 meters tall, shady sheltering a splinter of bone from Buddha. Walls and ceiling are decorated with beautiful painting illustrated the life of Buddha. As well as many decorated golden statues, Wat Chalong Chidi is built on the three floors so feel free to climb all the way the top floor terrace to get a nice bird view on the entire temple grounds. Up is Phuket Cashewnut Factory. A visit to, to the Cashewnut Factory in Phuket will provide an insight in, into the processing of cashewnuts and to see how painstakingly this treasured and fragrant nuts extracted and baked. Phuket is well known as a producer of delicious cashew nuts and anyone who enjoys eating them might very much enjoy a tour of the Phuket cashew nut factory. This is definitely one of the most unique Phuket attraction. Although one might not think so, the process of taking cashew nuts from raw to ready to eat is quite a production with a great many steps involved. 
at the factory, guests will learn how cashews are made and things like how to tell the difference between high quality and low quality cashews. Unlike in many places where they are today consumed, cashews are in fact a native plant to pocket and thus they have not only a long history but also a great many uses that may seem unconventional and were discovered only through years of experimentation. is Big Bee Honey Farm in Phuket, Thailand. Everything made out of honey. The Big Bee Honey Farm is a place that sells all things honey. You get to see the bees and how they make the honey and then you are brought into a big store where you can shop all honey related products. In all honesty, it is quite expensive for being in Thailand but I bet you that it's all organic and really good quality. So what can you buy here except for honey? You can buy chocolate, tea, coffee, facial cream, alcohol, and much more. Phuket Old Town is an area of historical interest in the city of Phuket. The main streets of Old Town are Thalang, Panga, Krabi, Dibok, and Yawarat. Old Town is noted for Sino Portuguese building on both sides of the street. Many old buildings have been converted into shops, hotels, restaurants, and museum. market naka weekend market is big crowded hot fun and almost overwhelming you can walk in here for hours looking at this vast brick a brac that makes this kind of night make fun naka weekend market pocket contains a massive range of items to shop and eat the market spreads of over a very large area near Phuket town so to survey every pot shop and stall you may need at least two hours visitors can enjoy a number of food stalls that range from local style japanese style and western style clothes and accessory stalls are available on various pots which are well separated from the food zone located in Phuket town along Wirat Tongyok Road opposite Naka Temple and not far from Suwan Luang Rama 9th Park and Central Phuket. Open on Friday to Sunday from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. <music> Yeah. 
that was of our land tour experience in Phuket. By the way, we book our tour just in Patong. Actually, for me, much better to book a tour inside Patong because you can ask discount and you can compare to the other travel agency, which a lot inside Patong. We book this half-day land tour for 900 baht each or 1,410 point 97 in philippine peso each by the way on our next vlog we will going to share with you our island tour experience also in Phuket. see you on my next vlog and enjoy the rest of the day bye bye